Here we go. Hey guys! So, every so often, I'll not have time to do a video on this channel, but I still want to release some stuff. And me and Jackie, we don't just do videos on this YouTube channel. Uh, we'll do some side projects and stuff like that. In a previous video, we talked about how we uh, were starting to do these hospital videos, like these instructional videos, because uh, I have like a kind of a healthcare job and they're like, oh, you guys like film? You guys can make instructional videos and we'll pay you. So we got that weird thing going on. But uh, yeah, this is a kind of different thing. Uh, so flashback to a few years ago, Paul, struggling artist Paul, tried making a short film. And the short film was called King Insomniac. And uh, I had a bunch of people together. We shot it uh, in the middle of the cold, by the way. We shot it in Canada during winter, which was the most freezing thing ever. And I remember I got a really bad cold after that all went down. But anyway, it was a very hard thing to shoot. And at the end of the day, I feel like it was too ambitious for what we had. And uh, the project kind of all fell apart. However, um, Jackie gave me this really good idea. Jackie uh, told me about this competition that's done by Adobe and Netflix, a collaboration between both of them. And uh, the competition was to make a one minute trailer with a movie pitch. So we took the footage that we did for that short film that never got completed and we kind of reissued it for it to be in this competition, uh, which, look, when it comes to competitions in film, uh, you can't really trust them. Like, most of them are phony baloney. Some of them, most of them already have, like, a predetermined theme and what they're going for. I remember when I went to a film festival and my film was there, the winner of the film festival was like some uh, gay aboriginal movie, which it always happens to be that kind of theme going on. But uh, yeah, we figured, you know what, we got all this footage that we're not using. Why not make that uh, one minute trailer out of that footage? Uh, just to tell you what my idea was with this film and what the film was about, it was going to be like a 20... 15 to 20 minute film and uh, it's about a guy who gets injected with a lethal serum and if he falls asleep he dies and the antidote is in Saskatoon and he has to complete a drug delivery to a cartel guy uh, in order to get that antidote and uh, the premise of the movie is basically Crank. If you guys have ever seen Crank it's like this movie but the tone would have been a bit more different it was going to be more of a situational comedy kind of thing. I always liked stuff like uh, growing up. I really liked like Looney Tunes and stuff like that. Uh, I like when comedies take like a certain premise and extend it and see it, what can we do with this certain premise. And that's kind of what I was going for here. What would happen if this guy had to stay awake for a really long time? And uh, the script had him hallucinating. And at a certain point, he... Uh, got tired and tried to steal a whiff of the cocaine and just to stay up and get that extra boost and stuff like that and it it was gonna be like a Looney Tunes cartoon basically but live action uh hence why in the trailer you'll see we're playing like classical music because that's a trope of many Looney Tunes cartoons and we're playing the Tico Tico no Fuba for those of you who are wondering also I wanted to play around with rear projection uh, we set up this, my aunt has a big garage, we don't have a garage, but my aunt had a big garage, so we put a projector in my aunt's garage, and we filmed all the driving scenes in them, and I'm kind of impressed at how well they turned out, like, overall, I feel like the movie, had we done the editing, it would have ended up being, like, not really good, to be quite frank, uh, self-critical of my work, but, uh, I feel like uh, those rear projection scenes are pretty cool. Like, and again, going back with that whole theme of like uh, older comedies and like taking the situation and stretching it out, I feel like it was appropriate to do rear projection instead of a green screen and stuff like that. Everyone who helped out was super nice to help me out with it, even though the movie didn't come, the short film didn't amount to anything. Uh, it was still a fun time to do and everyone was super nice. 
If you guys see the short film on my channel, All the Fish in the Sea, you'll see it's the same actress between uh, this and the uh, this trailer and that short film. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm going to play the trailer now. Let me know in the comments. Would you actually pay to see this movie? All right. And here it goes. got yourself into I got a job for you you see all that cocaine I need you to deliver it to Saskatoon pronto Jesus Christ K you baking a cake or something this has to be a quick job okay I injected you with a chemical odor if you fall asleep your heart will stop beating this shit's wild so stay up Look at SK, just a bunch of jerk offs driving to the middle of nowhere. Classic road trip, you know, like Thelma and Louise, Bonnie and Clyde, OJ and the Popo. Liam, how's the snow? Uh, it's really cold. I'd say a couple of centimeters deep. The cocaine, you retard. 